Ari Povich, Tuesday at 3. Turn to 10, Southern New England's leading news station. You're two weeks late? Are, are you sure? I never miss. What are you trying to, to say to me, that you could be... I refuse to let myself even think about it, but the way that I feel... How do you feel? Pregnant! Is something the matter? That was precisely the question that I came here to ask you. I sense trouble. It's been pretty intense around here. No welcome home banner? Well, Ali and Maggie were happy to see me. The rest feel incredibly threatened by us. Yes, I can imagine. Were they lying in wait? They're just upset, that's all. We have to give them more time. Oh, so they can weigh you down? You and I don't make any sense to my family. It was months before it made sense to me. Rachel, would you like to come home with me? I can't. Don't worry about the ring, Maggie. It's not important. Yes, it is important. The inscription is so romantic, so hopeful. Well, let's be hopeful for child. Ring or no ring? <sighs> Who so loves believes the impossible. You believe, Charlie? Oh, I hope that baby gets well. She has uh -huh. to. I love her so much. Uh, hi, Kate, Maggie. Hi. hi. Any news about Charlie? Oh, um, well, John's called in a pediatric cardiologist. It looks like they will have to operate. Heart surgery on a little baby? Oh, don't you worry. Dr. Hudson will give that child the best care on earth. Oh, um, I'm overheard on my way in. You're talking about your wedding ring. Girl talk. Mom, I'm curious. I'm, how can you have a wedding ring if you've never been married? Frankie, you'll get to see her soon, I promise. What happened, Morgan? Did she swallow something? Did she fall? What? It Call Dr. Stratton. Oh. Pediatric open heart team, alert the OR and prep the baby. No! Oh, Frankie. No, you are not going to touch my baby. Frankie, everything's going to be okay. John, did you say open heart? You have to operate? We're prepping her now. No, you are not going to do anything to Charlie. I am going in there. I have to hold her. Not now, Frankie. No, she needs me. A sick child needs her mother. No, Frankie, what she needs is surgery, and she needs it now. And what I need from you is a signed consent. I want my baby right now, John, please. Let Frankie, me see Charlie. Frankie, listen to me. Charlie is having a lot of trouble getting oxygenated blood into her system. Now we have to operate on her heart to fix no, that problem. No, no. John, there has to be some other way. Believe me, Cass, if there was another way, I would take it. Her condition is... No surgery! because I'm going to pick you up and I'm going to hold you and I'm going to get you home warm Frankie, and you'll be well. Maybe we're not the ones who can help John. Oh, now. I can. I can. I know I can. We trust John. He knows what he's talking about. He loves Charlie. I saw the test results. Surgery is no, 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 no. This isn't right. Please give me my baby. Give me my baby. always think their kids are the best. But when a child has diarrhea, parents often give something that's not the best to help prevent dehydration. Juice or sports drinks can be hard for a child's body to absorb quickly. Give your kids what pediatricians recommend for quick absorption, Pedialyte, with the correct balance of carbohydrate and electrolytes for quick absorption, Pedialyte. Don't your kids deserve the best? Oh, boy, it's gone.
If your cold pill's so good, how come your symptoms keep coming back? Because your pill doesn't work 24 hours. Introducing Effidac 24, the first cold tablet so effective, just one works 24 hours. Look, most cold pills drop off after six hours, the rest after 12. So your symptoms keep coming back. But just one Effidac gives consistent relief for 24 hours. So your symptoms don't come back. New 24-hour Effidac keeps cold symptoms from coming back. To make a magnificent thin crust pizza, you don't have to be a professional. Try new bubbly thin crust, aged parmesan, and olive oil baked in for a crispy taste of Italian freshness. Forget those crust tossing lessons with the new bubbly thin crust tonight. Oh, guys, my commercial. <laughs> Listen, weekends pack a ton of hearty taste into a snack that's smart to eat. See? The smart little snack that's big on taste. You're deliciously correct. Oh, maternal one. Zab! <laughs> Charlie was fine yesterday. Cass, if we bring her home, she'll be fine tomorrow. No, she won't be, Frankie. Not unless she has surgery, her blood gas. How can you even think of doing surgery on such a small baby? It will be too much for her. The procedure that we want to do is save lots of babies. Are you saying that without it, she'll die? I told you her condition's critical. But she's alive. You see, if you bring her into that operating... John, can you promise me that she will pull through this? Can you promise Frankie, me Frankie, you know I can't make Well, you see, then I would like rather that. wait and hold her in my arms and know that she's safe. Charlie's vital organs will start shutting down if we push this much longer. Now, I need a signed consent form, and I need it now. I don't... You haven't even told me what's wrong with her. She has what used to be called blue baby syndrome. And what is that? Well, you saw her. Her skin is ashen, her lips are blue. She's cold. No, she's not, Frankie. She is oxygen deprived. Well, then give her oxygen. We have given her oxygen, but the truth is there isn't enough oxygen in the world that will fix her. I brought in a specialist. We did an echocardiogram. She has an abnormality in her heart. What? So surgery is the only option. I'm afraid so. He's... Dr. Stratton in the, is waiting in the OR right see, now. You see, now I know there's been a mistake, you see, because when Charlie was born, the doctors told me she was perfect. She Thank is you. perfect. Thank you. This condition doesn't always show up at birth. Now, please, please, sign the consent form. I can't. I can't. You have to give us a minute, please. Give the form to the nurse. I'll be in with Charlie. I have never been so scared in my life. I mean, holding that little baby in my arms, wondering if we were going to make it to the hospital in time. Charlie's very lucky, you know, to have both of you there when this happened, really. I can't help thinking that, that I did something to set this off. Oh, that's crazy. No, man. no, I'm not used to holding babies. I'm not used to feeding them. I mean, I was there when it happened. I feel responsible. You feel responsible for saving her. You were perfect. I was yelling out orders, and this one performed like an ER nurse. You know that if this had happened when I was babysitting, I could have been writing my novel. I mean, even if I would have seen her I, in time, I, I wouldn't have had a clue what to do for her. Thank God that she had the two of you. Really. Frankie has to sign that form. Cass is with her. They'll do the right thing. I know they will. They want to cut our baby open. They want to save our baby. No. I feel like we're abandoning her, Cass. We have to leave some things to the experts, Frankie. John said that this Dr. Stratton is a fine specialist, and John will be in there the whole time. No, 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 no. We can't do this. Honey, we have to do this. No, we have no choice. She's just a little Frankie. baby. We can't turn her Frankie. over to total strangers. Frankie. I'm scared, too. Cass, I've already lost one baby. I can't lose another one. Charlie needs help. We're her parents. We have to make sure she gets it. We have to sign this now. Dr. Hester, 
Jason is waiting for your permission to start surgery. I can't. I can't give you permission to harm her. She'll get through this. I have to believe that, and so do you. Questioning me, Kelsey. You think I lied about never being married? Uh, it just seems strange, that's all. Why would you have a wedding ring? Well, I guess that's my business, isn't it? I, I started this. Tomas and I were going to find Kate's ring. Uh, the one with the inscription on it? Yeah, it, it was a plain gold band, so I was referring to it as a wedding ring because that's what it looked like. Oh, but it's not? <laughs> it was supposed to be that as well as my engagement ring. But my fiancé and I never made it to the altar. Any more questions? Um, listen, I'm gonna go to the ER and see how Charlie's doing. Okay. Let me know how she's doing, okay? Let me know, because I know how I'd feel if it was Louisa. Sure. Yes. I owe you an apology. I'm, I'm not usually this rude. <laughs> I don't get it, but everybody's... This ring's just driving everyone crazy. Maggie and Tomas have been all over hunting for it. Oh, how, how did you lose it? I sold it. I needed to raise some money in a hurry, and, and they, they feel bad because it's the only thing I brought with me from North Carolina, besides memories. Um, tell me uh, about the inscription. You heard that part, too. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to be listening. It's, it's, a quote from an, it's an old quote from a poet. The boy I was going to marry had it engraved, uh, part of it, inside the ring. Oh, he was from North Carolina, too. Yeah. But he left, and he never came back for me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry. It's years ago. Honestly, just years ago. But the inscription, I just... I still love it. I guess I'm a true romantic. You... You're really coming apart over this baby, aren't you? Oh, uh, well, it's, uh, sometimes it's hard to explain what shakes you up. Well, you, you gotta know that that child is, is in the most incredible care. Well, we're trying. I'm sure your husband's doing an excellent job. Yes, yes, he is. <sighs> Pregnant? Can you be pregnant? How can you be pregnant? We used a condom. Condoms aren't foolproof, you know. Wait a minute. How could you be pregnant? You and Michael said you tried everything, and, and the doctor said you were infertile. Doctors right? are not always right. And that was Michael, and that was then. What are you saying? I'm super stud? That's not funny, Matthew. Am I laughing? This is horrendous. My timing is so horrendous. I wasn't married when I got pregnant with Marley and Victoria. You were 17. And I was much too young. And now, look you, at me what, now. What, you're old? No, You're Matthew, old. I'm crazy. I'm crazy to have ever gotten involved with you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This you. could explain your mood swings. I have not your had mood rational swings. behavior. Yes, you have. No, I have. First I... you're pushing me away, then you're pulling me into a clinch. It's because I've been guilt-ridden. Don't assume that. It could be hormonal. You're not being helpful. You're not helping me at all. Baby. Baby. Don't the get all baby. mushy on me. What We've is... got to figure out what to do about this. What do you want to do? Well, I don't know. It's your body. You're the one that got me into this. Oh, don't blame it on me. What, it's I, not my fault. Should I see anybody else? What is the responsible? What world is going on here? You're looking at processed hair. Dry, damaged hair. Baby fine hair. You're looking at the healthy, shiny results of using one of the new line of Pantene Pro V treatment conditioners every day. Pantene Special Pro vitamins improve hair deep down. So now with all you do to your hair, you can make it healthy, shiny Pantene hair. The new line of Pantene Pro V treatment conditioners for hair so healthy it shines. Get the hair you were meant to have. One more tea for your cheesy need. Pop some Gringo's cheese sums, please. Once you pop, you just can't stop the fun. The cheesy taste is so young. Now 
can we say? When I was little, I was always getting caught with my hand in the cookie jar. And I still love sweet things, like sun-sweet pitted prunes. So you see, nothing's changed, except my cookie jar. You know, dishwashing detergents can leave spots and residues on your dishes. That's why you need Jet Dry. It works in the rinse cycle where detergents can't. Jet Dry eliminates spots and residues so everything sparkles. Jet Dry takes dishes beyond clean to sparkle. The courtroom explodes. I did! I killed Curtis Brown! A murder trial turned upside down. No. Is he the real killer? Is she finally free? Days of our lives. Nancy Kerrigan. Since the Olympics, her critics have been on the attack. Tonight, she'll break her silence and answer them back. A special Dateline exclusive you won't want to miss. Well, she wants to be a full partner. Always but will she accept part of the responsibility when a red decision goes on around he here? To, this is a partnership, he Donna. All the time. That's, oh, hey, would you oh, chill out? Hey! Everything. We were just arguing about programming. We do it all the time. Why are you here? Um, actually, it's about... Carl. Oh, and Rachel. Mm -hmm. I want you to take a look at this and tell me what you think. He's inviting Ryan and me over to dinner. Small family dinner. Whose family? I'm not invited. I don't know. Maybe he's just trying to show off Rachel or something. Do you think it's safe to go? Well, he's not exactly Hannibal Lecter. Matthew, have you heard anything about this from your mother? Not a word. Listen, we were. Well, I mean, isn't in the it driving you something. crazy that Carl may be coming on to your mother? I mean, come on, Amanda must have steam blowing out of her ears. Well, I don't, I don't judge relationships. I stay out of it. Well, that's true. You don't have a lot of experience. Victoria, you're really being disruptive right now. Well, what's your take on this thing then? I mean, do you think they're scamming the whole world, or do you actually think Rachel and Carl are, you know? Doing the wild thing. Don't be vulgar. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is the biggest news story in ages. I'm sorry, Matthew, but well, it is. Why don't you go to Carl and find out the real story? Now, if we'll you know, excuse you're us You're throwing here. me out yes, with her? Yes, your, your mother and I have a lot to talk about. Oh, well, la di da Thank you Thank for you. stopping by. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Would you like me to give Grant a big kiss for you? Yes, that would be great. Matthew, do you have the file? Yes. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Our being together is going to cause you a lot of pain. I already feel a stranger in this house. What exactly happened? I was so happy. I just wanted to share that with everyone, you and me, and, and seeing them, and... Bless you. Were you able to? Could you? No. They didn't give me a chance. They started right in with condemning me and questioning every move I've made. Rachel, don't stay here. This is my family. Families are intense. It comes with the territory. I just wanted it to go differently, that's all. You know, I, uh, I shared a similar impulse. I invited Victoria and Ryan to have a little dinner party with us. At your place? Yes. And despite my promises and my best intentions, I didn't clear it with you first. I'm sorry. It's all right. I told you I'd do anything I could to help you with Ryan. I was counting on you. I only wish I could return the favor with your family. Well, you've won Maggie over. The most generous hearted of the lot. And hopefully Pauline will come around. Iris is a lost cause. <laughs> My dear, I think we can forget about Iris. Now, but it's Amanda. It's Amanda who's troubling you. She's always trusted me. She doesn't now. She feels I've betrayed her. Well, because you found a part of yourself that has nothing to do with her. Look, for Amanda to admit that you're right, she has to admit that she's wrong. 
she's... But she can't do that. No, she can't. Your daughter, Rachel, is as lonely as you once were. And you can't expect her to rejoice in something that we've found. It's impossible for her. She's accusing me of abandoning the family and her. Yes, well, she was quick enough to take your title and accept your salary, wasn't she? If you have something to say about me, Carl, you say it to my face. Gladly. My mother gave up on the family and the company. I didn't. Your mother stuck to her principles. That's a kind of loyalty that you cannot begin yes, to appreciate. Leave it alone. No wonder why nothing you do makes sense. Mother, you've been listening to his garbage for months. I make up my own mind, Amanda. I have nothing to be ashamed of. You shame all of us with every minute you spend with him. You know, it is very hard to stand here while you insult your mother. Really? Why? It's the truth. Would you like to exchange a few home truths? Fine with me. Fine. Wait, Rachel, please, would you excuse us? I mean, your daughter and I need to clear the air. Please. John, I'd like to observe. She's your niece, Morgan. You think you can handle it? I want to be there for her. Then let's move. I'll take good care of her. Wait. The doctors are ready, Mrs. Winthrop. Hey. Hey, how's my brave girl? She's a fighter like her mother. You come back to us all well, okay? You try not to be scared, little girl, because Mommy and Daddy are right here. We have to go. I'm sorry. kids are the best. But when a child has diarrhea, parents often give something that's not the best to help prevent dehydration. Juice or sports drinks can be hard for a child's body to absorb quickly. Give your kids what pediatricians recommend for quick absorption, Pedialyte, with the correct balance of carbohydrate and electrolytes for quick absorption, Pedialyte. Don't your kids deserve the best? Once upon a time, there lived a young prince who had a very bad cold. His nose was so sore, the prince was afraid to blow it. Then one day, his mother, the queen, chanced upon a thicker, wonderfully soft tissue, the fairest in all the land. Kleenex Ultra Tissues, an extra layer of softness makes them thicker than other Ultra Tissues. And the prince lived happily ever after? How did you know? Kleenex Ultra's Ultra Softness for a Sore Nose. Our barbecue chicken sandwich already has so many fans, it's at KFC to stay. Folks can't get enough of those strips of chicken smothered in a tangy honey barbecue sauce. Of course, the introductory $1.49 price makes it really tempting. Plus, $1.49 barbecue chicken sandwich forever. The sandwich is here to stay, but the $1.49 is for a limited time. Oh, we are KFC, we do chicken. My hair is possessed. What's wrong? It goes every which way. I mean, how come your hair always goes the right way? Swab hairspray. No these. <laughs> you mean with all the expensive ones out there, swab is all you use? That's it. Oh, now those. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Hey, look. All enjoy miniatures, mounds miniatures. Because sometimes you feel like a I don't get it. Why? 
why would you let a little baby suffer so much? I mean, here I am, just starting to believe in you, just starting to believe that, that things happen for a reason. And then you do something, something that makes no sense. I mean, Charlie, Charlie barely had a start in this life. And, and she's brought so much joy to everyone who knows her. Please. Please just let her get well. Let her parents see her grow up. I mean, she means everything to them. Don't let them feel this love and then take it away. I don't know what to say to them. It's okay. You follow me, okay? Come on. All right, you two. I think it's time we sent Charlie some good vibes. All right, why don't we form a circle, join hands, and focus all of our energies on making her well. It's what we did for Jenna, Frankie. It's what you taught us. Come on, honey. Please. Please. I've never seen parents love their kid as much as you guys do. It's got to count for a lot. Didn't stop this from happening. Frankie, let's close our eyes, all right? Come on, honey. Close your eyes. Cass, let's just imagine Charlie smiling and happy and surrounded by light. She's a beautiful, healthy little girl. I'm sorry. I can't do this. It's not what I see. All right, Amanda, let's take the gloves off so you don't approve. I don't believe your reformation, Carl. Not for a second. You don't have to. Did I ask you? I certainly don't live my life waiting for your approval. All you should be concerned with is that I've been very good for Rachel. That's only your opinion. Yes, you? and hers. Now, she needs to be more than just a businesswoman and your mother. Yes. And now she's your mistress. You know, for one who knows so little, you judge very quickly. Do you know that she started to sculpt again? Do you know what that means? Oh, don't tell me you're taking credit for that, too. Now, of course I don't take credit for it, you silly little girl, but I do take great pleasure in it. Now, why do you begrudge her freedom and a little happiness? Because I am her daughter, and it is my job to tell her when she's fooling herself. Oh, it's your job, is it? Well, excuse me. Do you hear the arrogance of that? It's your job to tell her? My God. You are becoming a most cynical young woman, Amanda. No. Realistic. Now, am I expected to believe that this affair was actually fate? My feelings for your mother developed quite unexpectedly, as it has for me. Oh, save it, Carl. I know what you're like when you're obsessed. Wait, have you already forgotten? Forgotten? Forgotten what? Kidnapping me. Two years ago, all you cared about was my love and my understanding, and now you've moved on to my mother? Amanda, what can I say? You terrorized me! Carla, you took me from my family. You didn't care about how frustrated or furious they were. Amanda, I admit, I admit to the past. I have spent a great deal of my life in a very dark place, lost in it, but sin Sins can be redeemed. We are all capable of change. Now, if you don't believe that, you're tougher and you're more cynical than I've ever been. Is that the line you used on my mother? Rachel forgave me, and she came to me on her own. Did she? Yes, she did. It's astonishing to you, isn't it? My mother may be with you now, but eventually she's going to wake up and she's going to remember who you really are. Amanda, please, please, I don't wish to fight with you. Too bad. You've got one. Well, you can't change my feelings. And you can't change your mother's feelings. I'm a man who, late in his life, 
discovered his humanity, and that's thanks to your mother. And there's no turning back. So what, now you're reborn? Come on, please, Carl. Yes, I am reborn. And I will not turn my back on a gift as precious as her love. You are even more despicable than I remember. You actually believe your own lies. Kelsey. <gasps> Startled me, Brett. I noticed. I can't believe what I'm reading. I am numb. I mean, one minute I'm holding Charlie, and the next she's in surgery. <laughs> Kelsey? What's in there? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. It's the proof that I've been looking for. I mean, it, it, it finally all makes sense. What, what does? Kate Baker is Charlene Hudson. You want everything that touches your baby to be gentle. Like his first friend and his first formula. We chose Carnation Good Start. It's different from other routine infant formulas. Good Start's protein is specially processed into smaller pieces to make it gentle, easily digestible. No formula is more nutritious. Remember, breast milk is best, but Good Start formula is made to be gentle. Gentle for you. <laughs> Carnation Good Start. It's made to be gentle. Double, double your refreshment. So refreshing. Double, double your enjoyment. <laughs> oh, no, single no, double brush and jump Hard water lime, crusting up everywhere. But now there's new Lime Away Extra. It foams on contact as it penetrates, dissolving lime scale and hard water stains. Get Lime Away with Lime Away. Tonight, Jay's got a swinging show. Party! With Paul Hogan and comedian George Wallace. Then on Late Night, Conan welcomes Law & Order's Jerry Orbach, NBC Tonight. Dry, frizzy hair. It's always been a problem to work with, even for professionals. Frizzies is a product I developed during years of styling hair for magazines. Frizzies turns dry, frizzy hair into smooth, shiny hair quickly. Just apply Frizzies to wet hair after shampooing and dry as usual. Frizzies took years to develop, but it only takes minutes to work. Frizzies, the first prescriptive line of products for frizzy dry hair. Available at CVS. Have you ever felt like your whole world was falling apart? One of the things is when somebody dies from a suicide, questions of why roll through your mind. Remember the one person who pulled you through it? I need my friend even just Time for loving arms. On the next Mari Povich show, we're reuniting best friends who haven't seen each other in years. We hope that that helps. You think so? Absolutely. On the next Mari. Turn to 10 for Mari Povich, Tuesday at 3. Turn to 10, Southern New England's leading news station. Run that by me again. You think that Kate Baker is Charlene Hudson, what, reincarnated? Uh, in a way, yes. You have really gone over the edge, Kelsey. But the authorities never found Charlene's body. Now, uh, Kate looks like her. She cooks like her. It's a coincidence. No. OK, if she really were Charlene Hudson, she would say so. She would go back to John and her son. <sighs> Not if she didn't know who she was. You're losing me. Look, I just found out that that Charlene's wedding ring actually belongs to Kate. What, there can't be two rings exactly the same? No, no, not like these rings. John had an inscription engraved on in the inside of Charlene's ring. Yeah. 
Well, Kate's ring has the same inscription. That is one in a million, but so is the lottery. People still win it. It's the same ring, Brett. John found it in a curio shop right after Kate sold it. So this is what's driving you nuts? It's a direct connection. You know, Kelsey, you really need some rewiring done. Look, I want to believe that Kate Baker is from North Carolina and has never met John before in her whole life, but I can't. Now, I know I am not being paranoid. How do you know? Everything in here confirms it. Look, these... These are Charlene's psychological files. You took those? John is gonna kill you. Would you just listen to me, Brett? Kelsey, I'm not sure I want to. Remember I told you Charlene was in a medical institution and, and that she had a split personality? Charlie, right? Right. Charlie was nothing like Charlene. Charlene didn't even know that Charlie existed. She didn't? No. So you're saying that Kate Baker could be another one of Charlene's personalities? I'm afraid that it's very possible. Yeah, but wouldn't, wouldn't John have recognized her? Look, he only saw her in person once. At the winter masquerade. That's right, and she was wearing a mask. This is really scary. Well, it sure would explain why she has no job references and why she got all choked up when she danced with John. Yeah, this is really weird, but like, well, let's just forget this. Brett, what if John finds out Charlene's still alive? Cassie, my little goddaughter is fighting to stay alive. That is what I care about. That is what is real to me. Sorry, you're right. This can wait. Look, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go back. I wanna be there when Charlie comes out of the OR. I think that, um, John, uh, Cass and Frankie would really like you to be there, too. I mean, this happens so fast. They probably have, have a lot of medical questions, you know? Yeah. Um, I have to make a quick phone call. I'll, I'll meet you there. Okay. Victoria, don't you have something to do? All right, I've made up my mind. I'm going to accept Carl's invitation, but I'm going to make sure he switches place with me in case he's serving poison peas. That's very nice. Uh, good. Are you listening to me? Yeah, Carl is going to be serving peas. You used to be married to the guy. I mean, I would think that you would care that he might be jumping Rachel's bones. Rachel's bones are the least of my worries. Matthew! Uh, I have nothing to say about this. Could you sign this, please? Need your sign. <laughs> All right. Listen, if you could possibly tear yourself away tomorrow, do you think you could come to Dr. Ziff's office with me? Why? So you can hear your grandchild's heartbeat, and then maybe afterwards we can go shopping, you know, the baby stores and stuff? Well, it's just, I'm, I'm very busy here. Yeah, busy. Oh, come on, you're so good at picking out all that little baby stuff. Remember that really cute... Victoria, cream? would you please let me work? If it'll make you less grouchy, yes. I hope you lighten up a little bit, you know? You're worse mm. than Grant these days. Uh, bye. Mm. See ya. You know what this is? I, I'm being punished. I'm being punished for what we did. I'm going to be having a baby, a baby who is, is younger not a than my You're panicking. child. Do I have any reason to be calm? You have to be mature. We've got to work through this together. Well, we don't have a lot of options here. We've now. got do options we? like every other couple. Couple? Yes. Couple? Come here. Couple, it's don't. Okay. Matthew, Would you? Stop what? It. You want to wine? Stop wine. Not. Okay, I'm going to do something about this. That's my choke. Where are you going? I'm. I will tell you when I get back. Just stay put. My feelings for Rachel are genuine. I don't care. I will never accept you with my mother. And neither will the rest of the family, so don't bother campaigning, Carl. Hilda's getting ready to take Allie to her overnight. She wants to say goodbye. I'll take her myself. Hilda doesn't mind. I mind. I want to be with my daughter. When will you be back? What do you care? Are you actually planning to be here for once? I'll leave the lights on. Look, don't try to play mother, okay? Not after all the time you've been away. I'm not playing mother. I am your mother. Mothers leave the lights on. Well, don't bother. 
I might not be back. Sorry you had to see that. Coffee doesn't make sense. Choose Maxwell House Filter Pack Singles. Rich Maxwell House Coffee in one fresh brewed cup. Filter Pack Singles. New from Maxwell House. They're cool. They're refreshing. And they're bursting with mint. Cooler mint carefree. Bursting with flavor. It's fun. It's juicy, and it's bursting with flavor. Carefree bubble gum, bursting with flavor. Spray and Wash has removed more food, grease, and grass than any other stain remover ever made. And that has made it the number one choice for getting out what America gets into. Slow drains are caused by greasy, gunky buildup like this. But that can be prevented with Liquid Plumber Buildup Remover. It uses enzymes to dissolve the gunk in your drains and keep them flowing free. Liquid Plumber Buildup Remover. It's a war, and neither side will quit. Where do the rights of smokers end and non-smokers begin? You decide. Smoking, the burning questions. Part two of this special series on NBC Nightly News tonight. Ripped from reality, one woman's unthinkable revenge. She cut it off. But what happens when she goes too far? Your husband's dead. All new Law and Order, NBC Wednesday. It's been so long since his family's gotten along. Sometimes I wish they were young and I could just bundle them off to the movies. Well, they're not little bundles anymore. Yes, but I'm still their mother. And the word mother is not synonymous with scapegoat. Yes, I know. How sharper than a serpent's tooth it is to have an ungrateful child. She's not just ungrateful, she's angry. That does not excuse her bad manners and her rudeness. There's no excuse for her hurting you like that. You know, I would gladly give up my life for any one of them. But I will not stop living on their account. <laughs> Bravo. Oh, I believe we both deserve a little happiness, Rachel. But it's not going to be easy. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> Well, you've certainly given my life new meaning. And you've done the same for me, you know. Yes. You know, I actually believe it was you that taught me about love. And most importantly, how to show it. There are no words that I could convey to you. What is it that poet says? Language has not the power to write what love indicts. The soul lies buried in the ink that writes. Yes, that's right. I don't need words. So you can see how the, uh, the dinner is important to me? Of course it is. You'll get your chance with Ryan. I hope so. Do you know, to spend an evening with the people that you love the most I've never done that before. Never. Can you believe that? Well, with any luck, you'll get a chance to do it more than once. <laughs> well, I won't look too far ahead. I guess the important thing is to just love them, isn't it? Whether they accept it or feel it, it just has to be there. And that's just how I feel about you. Mm -hmm.
do any work? Still operating. How did this happen? What, what, what did I do wrong? Oh, Frankie, don't. See, I've, I've been going over everything in my mind, and I was very careful, Cass. I, I exercised and I meditated. I took every vitamin. It wasn't you. you see, but maybe, maybe it was the stress from Morgan's trial. You know, if, if I had stayed home. You would have worried even more. You said so yourself. I wanted her to be born at home. Couldn't, it couldn't be something as stupid as the elevator wasn't clean enough, could it? Her condition isn't caused by germs. Things like this shouldn't happen to innocent babies. No. But they do. You see, but I should have seen it coming. I am her mother. I should have known that she was sick. You see? Did you remember when she was nursing the other night and, and she was gulping for air? Do you remember? I, th I thought she was eating too fast. I laughed. I told her to stop being such a little piggy, and she was sick then, and I didn't even Maybe know Maybe she it. wasn't sick then, honey. But then how come I kept getting these chills every time I would try to leave the house? Frankie, you love her. No mother could possibly love her daughter more than you. Then why did we go to the mall? Why weren't we there when she needed us? Maybe she needed Morgan more. Maybe she's alive now because Morgan was there. Oh, do you really believe that? I think the universe is watching over our daughter and that we have to be grateful that she's still alive. You, you want me to feel good about this? We have to find the good in this for her sake. You told me that Charlie's connected to us, to our souls. Oh, Cass, I hate it when no, you quote me. No, I believe it, too. She feels what we feel. That's why we have to imagine her well. See, I tried that. I tried it, and, and I couldn't do it. How many times do we try to get married before it took? Oh, three or four. I, I don't know. I've we have to keep trying now. I feel empty. You told me that love has no boundaries, no walls, no distance. Words. No. No. You close your eyes. And you imagine yourself in the OR with Charlie. We're going to give her something to live for. We're going to give her something to come back to. We're going to... We're going to give her what we promised her the day she was born. Come on. We're going to give her all our love forever. The first time I tried it, it was like, whoa, this is a new experience. Arm & Hammer Dental Care Tartar Control Gel. What's it like the first time? It's just like I left the dentist chair. You know that polish feeling you get when the tartar's gone and your teeth feel brand new? Arm & Hammer is the tartar control gel with baking soda and a fresh mint taste. So now I get that fresh from the dentist feeling anytime I feel like it. Arm & Hammer Tartar Control Gel for that fresh from the dentist feeling of clean. And now introducing that healthy feeling in you neat and easy stand-up tubes. Look for them in your store today. Please pass the all fruit. Pass the pollen all fruit. Pass the pollen all fruit. Would you please pass the jelly? Polanar All Fruit is real fruit, sweetened only with fruit juice. You'll call it delicious, you'll call it remarkable, but please don't dare call it jelly. Polanar All Fruit, the spreadable fruit. Parents always think their kids are the best. But when a child has diarrhea, parents often give something that's not the best to help prevent dehydration. Juice or sports drinks can be hard for a child's body to absorb quickly. Give your kids what pediatricians recommend for quick absorption, Pedialyte, with the correct balance of carbohydrate and electrolytes for quick absorption, Pedialyte. Don't your kids deserve the best? The sun touched us. We felt like flowers in a field. And for a moment, we found heaven. Sunflowers, the new fragrance from Elizabeth Arden. Choosing a breath mint is as easy as one, two, three. 
One, an independent test shows Tic Tac Freshens breath even better than breath savers. Two, there are eight calories in each breath savers. Three, but only one and a half calories in each Tic Tac. John Larroquette's raising the stakes. What do you say we make it double or nothing? Every Tuesday, it's double episodes for a full hour of Larroquette. Perfect. It's double the action, double the romance. What would it take to get you to go out with me? A rip in the fabric of time. And double the scary giant puppet people. The John Larroquette Show is now the John Larroquette Hour. NBC tonight. Where have you been? Do you have any idea what time it is? There you go. You know, you d I don't appreciate you running you out on me in a crisis, leaving me with the Would news. You open the, the bag. Would you hurry up you and keep open the bag, Donna? You talking about being sensitive, Jevin. I think that underneath all of this sensitivity Thank is somebody you. who's very insensitive you. because you open run away every time we have a problem. I run back now. I was in a fender bender. Would you please just open the bag? What, a pregnancy test? Yes, men can buy them, too. Did you wear a disguise? Listen, I told you we're in this together. Just find out if you're pregnant or hysterical. You're sexist. You're but a sexist. Once we know, you can call me every name in the book. Including Daddy. Yeah, I've never wanted you more than I want you right now. This isn't going to be easy, you know. But it's so easy being with you. It's easy for me. I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't cost me the way it costs you. That could change. I don't think they can touch me. I was a bit shocked and surprised by the intensity of Amanda's... rage. You know, you mustn't let the anger of this family overwhelm you. I'll take my chances if you will. Oh, yes, I will. How could you do this in my father's house? Are you, are you Mr. Clark? That depends. I'm Kelsey Harrison. So what's the job you want done? Uh, I'm not sure where to start. I've never hired a private investigator before. What are you looking for? Think your husband's cheating on you? You want me to Oh, pay no, him? nothing like that. Missing person, insurance fraud? Missing person, if that's more like it. Um, it's very complicated. Look, I, I need to know that this is completely confidential. Goes without saying. Uh, I guess we should start with these. Um, I need a complete background check on, on this woman, Kate Baker. She works in the cafeteria at Bay City General. Before that? You tell me. Well, what's with the files? They've got different names on them. Uh, I, I thought these may help you. Well, hold it. Who am I investigating here? Kate Baker or, uh, Charlene Hudson? Um, well, my hunch is they're the same person. That's what I want you to find out. Well, stay with us, Frankie. I can't do this alone, and neither can Charlie.
beautiful. We'll teach you for a little while, and then you teach us, OK? You've taught us so much about love already. Is it over? I was Charlie. 